Hello, I'm Simon Dyer from Clive Shuttle International and welcome to our luxurious showroom here in St. John's Wood in London. And I'm here today to show you the most beautiful piece of automotive art, the 1965 Ford Mustang convertible. This car is now built in right-hand drive and there are some unique pieces of engineering that's gone into this car. I'd like to show you them. First of all, the car is fitted with the very latest all-round disc brake system. Coming to the rear of the car, the car now is fitted with a modern safety fuel cell, which the original cars had simply a mild steel fuel tank. This now has a neoprene cell fitted into the tank itself for complete safety. On the original cars, the car, the tank was just a mild steel basic tank fitted into the bottom of the floor. This now within the tank has a neoprene cell, so any impact on the rear of the car is going to ensure complete safety. Walking around to the side of the car now, I'd just like to show you a few of the interior features. You can see by the level of the trim how brilliantly it's been reworked with the motor liter wooden steering wheel, with the rally pack gauges for the clock and the tachometer. You might just be able to see in the footwell on the passenger side there the black box which is built into the firewall of the car. That is the very latest modern air conditioning system. OK, let's have a look at the really important part of the car now. Let's have a look underneath the bonnet. And what a pretty sight that is. This car is built with the original 289 Windsor engine, but one of the key points of this car is fitted with modern fuel injection, ensuring first time starting and of course absolutely fantastic performance. One of the unique features of this convertible, it's got a modern electronic hood. Let me just show you how that works. Just take off the tonneau cover, easily fitted with popper studs. And that can be neatly folded and placed on the rear seat or in the rear of the boot. And it really is just a one switch operation. Quite simply, there's a small button here at the bottom of the dash. And now the roof's up. There's two small handles on either side, and it's just a case of flipping it into place, like so. Happy days and off we go.